the fallen idol. I hope eventually, like, things start to tie together, because right now it's, like, choppy, like, it's one scene after another, like, it's individual Law & Order episodes, which is cool, like, I enjoy that, but I want it to eventually, like, all, do all tie together, uh, somehow. Oh, damn, what just happened there? Well, Spikowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How is that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Mm. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? The Chevy oh, wow. style line took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys. To I feel catch. like this is the case that's gonna make us straight right through now. the red light. Said she never You'll be satisfied once in the oh, okay. I figured. I mean Rockstar does a good job of usually tying hard. things together. I'm just trying to fit in. Educated, hardworking, Alright, let's uh let's go investigate this crime. Where is this crime at? Oh, they're up up top, huh? What? Get your car? But the crime scene's right here. Crash site, 7.52 a.m. I, I feel like we would have seen that if that was right across the street from work. But, okay. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, Beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Okay. Mm Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Mm. Is anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad considering. If she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, you can stall the ambulance. Yeah, go ahead and stall. Yeah. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. It's okay. I can handle it. I'm a grown man. This ain't the red carpet, so get out of my lens. Hey, hey, you're gonna have to. Hey, you're gonna have to leave. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. Okay. I want to talk to this guy. Mr. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I have a first. Uh, I, I don't really want to talk to her yet. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Oh. Maybe a bit on the serious side. Yeah, I'm always what about serious. Me, June? I'm a big fan of beast. I don't like. <laughs> Keep out of this. You suck. Uh, where's the crash site? That's what I want to do. You were giving me a thorough going over. I was just starting to enjoy it. I hope I can this come is back a to big this. Scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. Let's go see the coroner. Wait, can I go back to her? Oh, I think I screwed this up. Oh, I can talk to her. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I wanted to go to the crash site first. I didn't mean to talk to her. I, I thought that I was going to talk to the ambulance man. Um, where is where's the crime scene? See, my car's up here already. Because whenever, anytime you uh, finish a mission, or, or anytime you finish a cutscene, uh, your car just magically comes to where you were. Okay. You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. Uh, is, is it cocaine? Ooh, what is this? U6BMTL. 8MTL. I don't think this is going to help us at all. But usually he goes, no, I don't think that's going to help. No, I don't think that's going to help. P 
panties. There's panties on her car. What, what's the name of that? Oh, is this a Harvey Weinstein situation? Nobody answered that. But I, I feel like Harvey Weinstein is probably involved in this somehow. All right, before I play around with the panties, let me look at this right quick. Uh, we are going to read this, by the way, because this is full, chock full of evidence. Uh, this is from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a letter. Yeah, I miss I miss the days where people wrote letters to one another. I I want to write letters to somebody. I want I want I want that to come back instead of emails. Just full on, like thought provoking letters. Dear Jesse, please please dear, come home. If you're worried about your father, don't be. All is forgiven. He has a hot temper and he can be very proud, but you're still his little girl and he loves She's you. A long way from home. I know he didn't mean those things he said. You're a good, decent girl, dear, and you're not made for Hollywood. I was 15 once myself. I wanted to be just like Clara Bow and wear lovely dresses and kiss handsome men. But once I grew up and married your father, I realized I would never have been happy in that life. You'll realize it one day, too. I'm sure Aunt Janie's or Aunt Junie's looking, for, looking after you, but I can't help worrying. You know what your old mother's like. The world is a very dangerous place for young girls, especially ones with stars in their eyes. Stars are nice to look at, but sometimes they can blind you to uh, what's right in front of your nose. Uh, you can write to me. I love snail mail. It's Christmas every day for me. At work. Yeah, I like. I need a. I, I need a pen pal. <laughs> um, Emma and Molly miss you awfully. Emma's getting so pretty now, and little Molly is bright as a button, just like you were at her age. Uh, they need their big sister to look out for them. Dear, dear Jesse, please come back. I'm frightened for you. I can't help feeling something terrible is going to happen. I cry for you every night. Your loving mother, Camille Hamilton. Camille Hamilton, when America sings for you. Oh, th that's Alexander Hamilton. Yo, Versace. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Um, okay, so we have a situation where a 15-year-old girl, uh, her dad's mad at her. Um, she's staying with her aunt, who's a movie star, and her mom wants her to come back home. Uh, doing good. Doing good. Uh, we got some panties. I, I hope it's not the 15-year-old. I mean, that would be... I, I feel like Chris Hansen's gonna come after us any moment now. Alright. Oh, God, I don't wanna... I don't... Oh, they've been ripped! They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Stop playing with the. Ooh, ooh. I'm playing with the panties. <laughs> I'm making puppets with the panties. Oh, look at me! I got a panty puppet show. Uh, I got some panties. All right, that, that's enough playing with the panties. That's enough playing with the panties. Stop! Stop it, Cole. Stop it. Come on, we're professionals. Blood spatter on the car. Forehead hit. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Okay. Head went through the window. Maybe. Okay. I think this might be a Harvey Weinstein situation here. Uh-huh. Don't worry. We're, we're going to solve this case. All right. Let's go talk to Miss Actress Lady. I swear, this town is going straight to hell. Okay. What do you know, ma'am? Um, doping allegation. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claimed that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. Oh, she's an actress. This is going to be difficult. I can't remember. Oh, this is going to be difficult. All right, she's looking straight at us. Close her eyes, but she's looking straight at us. I feel like she's telling the truth who drugged you
We, we can't screw up the first question of the mission. I... I... We, we can screw up the first question. I, I'm not starting over anytime we get things wrong, but you can't screw up the first damn mission. You, you can't do that. Like you, you gotta, you gotta do better than that. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask. You oh, a few I, I, I need to go back and, okay. and look at the crime scene, Donna. Yeah. Name. June Ballard. Shut up. You might be familiar with some. Shut up. Her. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute. Oh, for shut cop. up. <laughs> we'll we'll get through all the evidence on the crime scene uh, me, real June? fast. I'm a big fan of beasts. I don't like. Keep out of this. All right. Uh, later. You were giving me a thorough uh, going over. The corner, he's I down was by just the crash site. To enjoy it. All right, where's the? This where, is a big scene, folks. Need, need help? No, I'll ask for it if I need help. Let's go see the corner. Um. Oh god, I don't. I, ain't the red I'm completely lost now. Where, where in the hell is the crime scene? It's got to be over this way, right? Oh god, I don't know where the crime scene is. I'm the worst detective of all time. Okay, it's got to be down this way. <laughs> A cop that doesn't even know where the crime scene is. Ain't that some shit? All right, I, I think we're going the right way now. I don't know where the crime scene is. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, so her smirking might be a, a, a sure sign. Laid out on the truck. That is All right. Even the best part. We got some panties. Okay, definitely got some panties. They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. <laughs> I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the I'm lab. I'm playing with the panties. And then we're gonna read the letter just to have it as evidence. We already looked at it. She's a long way from home. And then we're gonna look at the blood. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. They must have been unconscious. Being relaxed. So we definitely don't have like any evidence that leads me to believe. I know it's still a bit, uh, but you can't wait for Dune to come out on HBO Max. Yeah, we can. Um, where is... So we don't have enough evidence to call her a liar. You know, so she... We, we know it has to be a doubt at this point. So, uh, doping allegations. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. How am I supposed to know this is a, a doubt? So dopey. Like, if I'm supposed to go by her face, right? I can't remember. Like, right here. She looks, like, solid. Her lips are moving a little bit. She looks down. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to look at, but... It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. So Mark Bishop. Okay. Um, injured female passenger. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? Damn it, she's, she's smirking the exact... I'm going to say lie just to see what we're looking for. I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. Do you have any proof? N no. Something happened. Do I go with the underwear? I think we might go with the underwear here. Hang on. You don't ask, you never find out. Ooh. 
Why? Yeah, I think we go with the underwear. Miss Hamilton's underwear were Damn, I didn't have to by. use an intuition point she on there. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a casting. Whatever happened after that is between her and Mark Bishop. Mark Bishop is fucking 15. Uh, you nasty su We have to capture uh, Mark Bishop. Uh, suspect Mark Bishop. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He's a movie producer. As for his involvement... You just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. See, how am I supposed to know, like... Like, I feel like she's telling the truth, but, like, this game makes it to where, like, this could be a doubt or a... Alright, what are we looking for? That's a lie, and you know it. This goes deeper than that. <laughs> I'm sorry? Maybe you'd like to go ahead and prove that. This goes me. deeper than that. I don't have anything to prove that. Nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that? Mmm. We gotta start this off right, man. Okay. Hang on. Uh, you mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He's a movie producer. As for his involvement... See, if I just go with this, how in the hell am I supposed to know what to go with? He's a movie producer. Well, we know he's a movie producer. And she's saying, leave it to me and my husband to worry about. I mean, that seems to me like he's telling the tr she's telling the truth. But, hmm. I feel like this is truth. And I hate that I might get this wrong. Oh, but look at her moving her head like that and stuff. I'm between truth and doubt. Uh, I mean, uh, truth and doubt right now. Yeah. I, I'm going to go doubt. I think she knows something and isn't telling us. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. Boom. I did it. Pressed him on it. And this is where I am. All right, we we went three for three there. It, it was a struggle, uh, but we did it. This is a big scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. Let's go see the coroner. Oh, okay. You want to see the coroner again? I guess we could do that. Where where is he? Oh, he's still down there. Well, I don't think the coroner is going to lie to us. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. What? <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then paint it. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator. Oh. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Okay. Well, that, that changes things. So we they knew something. Ballad, she might not be telling us the whole story. They knew something. Um, and and somebody was trying to kill them for it. Yeah, you can you can talk to the lady as many times as you want. Ma'am, you know anything about shrunken heads? We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see. I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last Fair. thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. She's lying. I, this is a doubt. I don't think that we have anything. I mean, again, I'm going to press lie just to see what they are looking for here. But I think this is going to be doubt. Ms. McAfee, you're lying. 
wasting our time. You know what's going on here. Yeah, you this just is a doubt. Tell us. 100% doubt. You're sweet, but simple too. The burden of proof. I hope I never have to talk to her because she's like a really phenomenally good uh, actor. Like you can't use the shrunken head there. Like no way. Because I can't prove that she knew anything about it. It's definitely, definitely got to be doubt. Now. Definitely got to be doubt. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? All right, let's do Mr. it. McAfee, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. No, I'm a baby face. I think we're good here. Let's go see uh, what you shake out of the kid. Shake out of the kid? Wait, where's... Oh, I didn't see the kid anywhere. Where the hell's the kid at? Hold up. Oh, she must be at the hospital. Okay. Yeah, she must be at the hospital. I thought she would still be at the crime scene. Cause I was like, I, I definitely didn't see a kid anywhere around here. All right. Wait, where's my damn car? Oh. All these people are vultures, officer. But you can tell me what's going on. All right, let's go to the hospital. We're gonna go talk to the uh, assumed rape victim. All right, 11 King on it. 11 K Roger, en route. Oh, oh, how am I supposed to get down? The only way I know how. Come on, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Get, that doesn't even look like Bill Nye the Science Guy. But okay, let's go. This is a total normal way. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I those guys should have dove out of the way. That. That's honestly more on them than me. Wait, the hospital is attached to the police station? That's odd. Okay, let's go. Why is... Hello, Detective Okay, now I'm, I'm, I'm not going to ask any questions. Jessica Hamilton. Oh, yes. She's in the room right behind you, Detective. Oh, hey, it's Peggy from Mad Men. You can't hold me here. No, I don't need to be handled by morning, a doctor. Jessica. I need my lawyer. Hey, oh, hey, it's Miss June. Phone. Do you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Wait, let me. Oh, let me look around the room. It's butter. Doesn't look like anything. It looks like butter to me. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Drugs? Hang on. Hold up. We're... Oh, Mystic Tales. Here we go. I haven't seen a newspaper in a while. I feel like we're missing some newspapers. Alright, let me look at your chart right quick. Uh, Central Receiving Hospital Recovery Sheet. 0245, Jessica Hamilton, age 15. Standing around here looking at me, not saying anything. Sorry, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do the evidence. Dr. Elias Webley, head trauma and soft tissue damage sustained in car accident, residual traces of chloral hydrate in bloodstream, uh, external bruising to genitals, uh, and other evidence of criminal abuse. Um, pink and perfused. Okay, traces of chloral hydrate in bloodstream recently administered. Do not administer further sedatives without express permission. Patient to be held for bed rest and observation. She's not in a lot of pain. Oh, look at that though. She went from two pain, two pain, one pain, T pain, uh, five, five, five. So she, oh, she went asleep. Okay, so two is actually bad pain. And then she got better and went 
went to sleep. Okay. You're making me uncomfortable. Just sorry. Just standing around here looking at me, not saying anything. I just had to get some evidence. I'm sorry. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. We gotta nail this bastard. We gotta nail him to the wall. Uh, crash incident report. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Oh, bullshit. God, I don't want to call a freaking 15-year-old a liar who's been raped, but... Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. She said nothing happened yesterday. What about your freaking underwear? Evidence of abuse. Dude, it could be any of these. It really... I wish I had some of my intuition points. Mm. Evidence of abuse. Oh, the, yeah, it has to be evidence of abuse. We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us Because it said it happened that day. The doctor day. told me what happened. Yeah. I... I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. That that was the price of stardom. Did she now? Whoa. Oh, bitch. It's not Junie's fault. What? It's not my first time. I had a boyfriend back home, but... My father found out about him. That doesn't excuse Ray. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. Yeah. Uh, contact with parents. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica. To tell She's going to lie and say she oh, hasn't talked to, to them. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. Bullshit. They trust her to take care of me. Bullshit. Bullshit. Lie. You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right? We have a letter us? that proves otherwise. Please, detective, why would I lie to you? We have a letter that proves that they didn't want you over here with June. Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me She's a name? bad liar. I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. Mm, they roofied her. I think I must have passed out. Uh, association with Bishop. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. I mean, I think she is telling the truth here. Mm, she looks to the side, though. Oh, son of a bitch. Why do you have to... What does Lie say? You're lying, Jessica. You're a victim of the oldest scam in Hollywood. Don't protect these people. I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Bishop makes movies. That's all I know. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say she... <clears throat> I'm going to say doubt. Looks like I was mistaken. I don't think she's telling the truth here. I mean, look how shifty she's being. Um, but I don't have evidence to accuse her, so doubt. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday, like they worked it out. Hmm. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. It's either doubt or lie. I'm going to say lie just to see what we're looking for. God damn it, tell the truth. Jeez! Yes. I am telling the truth. I don't know where the place is. I barely know this city. All right, I'm going to go doubt because I have nothing that proves that she knows where the place is, right? Um, she's definitely not telling the truth. If you don't ask, you never find out. So I'm going to go doubt. Someone tried to kill you, I Jessica. fucked up. Do you get it? Forget about being in movies. It's time to act like a grown-up. I had to wear a robe and lay down on I've, a stone. I think we were supposed to use the prop store lights, thing. Yeah. Camera. 
It's not my fault. I'm not a bad girl. Why are you trying to hurt me? Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. It's okay, though. We're gonna nail this guy. You need some help. We're gonna nail him. Touch, okay? Okay. We didn't get 100%, but we did get three of four. Back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? This is where Detective Stabler would furrow his eyebrows and think about his daughter. The tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. Yeah, that doesn't look suspicious there at all. Goes. Come on. After that car! Oh, I'm so bad at these tailing missions. Ballard is definitely up to something. Oh, by the way, I got Assassin's Creed 1 working on my machine. Um, I just have to play with the clocking and and stuff with my CPU. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. But apparently my CPU is just too good for Assassin's Creed 1. So I have to like kind of play with it, but it's really easy fix. So we'll be able to do that marathon at some point. Where are you going? I wish I could turn on my blinkers. That would be really, really cool. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. Oh shit. Let just, just let her go. Where are they going? Are, are they going to a drugstore? I think she might be involved in um in drugging young women for this uh for this producer. I think she might be, I think she might be up to some sex trafficking stuff. Take cover at the base of the door. Okay. Yeah, that's not suspicious uh, at all. Waitress. I get another spoon. Find a booth with a newspaper. There we go. I'm in. I'm in. Baby. No. I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. I think I know what's going on here. I think I think she's talking to the director. Well, then make someone else do it. You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls. And I think she's supplying young women to him. I'm going to be very clear about this. You get this done or I'm... Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark... Bishop, that son of a oh, bitch. never mind. That's not who she's talking to. 803. I still don't understand how this is like trafficking. What, like the traffic department, but whatever. Southern California Pro Ring Association, Kid Galvulin versus Remy Darnell. Ooh, lamb chops for 20 cents? Spaghetti ravioli for 20 cents? Damn. I want to live in these days. All right, we got to go to... We, we got to save Mark Bishop. Oh, that, that son of a bitch. I got to save Mark Bishop, who just What's raped a 15-year-old? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble in his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. I mean, as far as I'm concerned... If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. As far as I'm concerned, like, he can die. I don't, I don't really want to save him. She was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. Right up Stop. Ahead. Damn it. Try making it to the next intersection without killing anybody. Well, this is a... <laughs> that's unfortunate. <laughs> well, if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? All units, 
What's a 415? A murder? We're on it. We're on it. I think we got a murder at the hotel. Ooh, we gotta go. Turning left, up ahead. I mean, maybe we should maybe we should take our time and let him die. Take the next right. But then I guess we never really get justice because we gotta get answers. Next left. Alright, we'll we'll save him for now. But he's gonna he's gonna go to jail the rest of his life. Saw that a Tokyo drifted? That was fantastic. Bishop's apartment. Right, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta save. We gotta save this pedophile. I don't like it, but we're gonna I'm do Detective it. Detective Phelps, we received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Okay. Take the elevator. Last corridor. There has to be there has to be a newspaper open here, right? Really, no newspapers in this whole place. There has to be. There has to be a newspaper. Oh man. Okay. All right. Let's go to apartment eight hundred three in the elevators. Come on, Burkowski. Oh, this is such a tight elevator. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. All right, 803. 803. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs. Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please. Wow, come they in, tore officers. up the place. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess! We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I... I will. Thank you, officer. All right. He starred in Gay Cowboys, The Stairwell, Fournier's Revenge. Uh, he read the Bible, just the New Testament, though. He didn't. He didn't read the. He didn't read the whole thing, where it said, "Don't bang underage girls." Clearly. Um. Got a wedding ring. Clearly, his vows mean. Doesn't appear to be connected. Nothing to him. What do we got here? Circumstantial. Lipstick. We have fibers on this thing. This doesn't pertain to the case. No. Yeah, I don't think we have anything there. Ooh, we gotta check. We gotta check. You gotta follow the money everywhere. Twenty thousand dollars check. Dude, earn twenty thousand dollars. To Lorna Harpool. I, I can't read what that says, but Lorna something. Louisa. Twenty thousand dollars. Okay. Let me check my uh. My clues here. We got a check for twenty thousand uh, dollars. Made out to Lorna Hopgood on the account of Mark Bishop. Of course you're looking at money. What's up, Asdos? Thank you for that host. It's all that matters. Twenty thousand dollars back in the nineteen forties. That's like a million dollars. Wait, what am I? Oh, look at this. Okay, here we go. Probably nothing. What do we got though? A hairnet. That proves that this was murder. Loving it. Loving it so far. So some of the things like figuring out if something's a lie or doubt or truth. Like that I, I feel like that's the weakest part of this game. Uh, whereas some people would probably view it as the strongest. Just because some of it's just really vague. But otherwise I, I really enjoy it. Gay cowboys to Mark Bishop. Dude, he made the to Mark. He made the original Brokeback. 
That's amazing. Still haven't seen that movie. Oh, yeah, for sure. Money. Money! Incidental. No, but I'm gonna put it in my pocket. Oh, man. I need money. Uh... Cigars? Hmm. Don't think this is any Oh, my God. Us. I can have money and cigars? Uh, how are you saying this is incidental? This is, like, all that matters. What do you got here? like the old movie set downtown oh okay I don't know how that's a clue but okay. intolerance wall of Babylon a replica of a replica intolerance love struggle throughout the ages by DW Griffith the Great Wall of Babylon how are any of these clues I don't understand I missed something over here uh, we got we got we got a matchbook. This isn't what we're looking for. Probably circumstantial. Lost Diablos tequila. I think I'll pocket that. Junk. Don't call that tequila junk. That's good tequila. Um, a cup with which to put the tequila in. Forks to stir the butter in the tequila. Yeah, that I said it. Um, oh, is that Drew Carey? Looks oh, like a who's that? In the background, silver screen. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Oh, we're definitely visiting that. Eddie Wayson. Another time and place. Everything here is going to be relevant. Got one more room to investigate. All right, I think we need to interview the wife. Oh, oh, hang on. You thought I was done. Uh-uh. Can I jump off this? I've had enough as a cop. Yeah, I don't want to do that. All right, was there a domestic disturbance in this place, or did you just throw around furniture like a crazy woman? Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy I McAfee. believe her on that. Have you heard of her? <laughs> that slut. Oh, I really She's believe... She's my husband for days. Ooh, I Mrs. really McAfee believe her. alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Damn it. She, all these people are super convincing. I believe her that he does not include her in his business. And I have no reason to doubt her. She's looking straight forward. She's not smirking. Hey, Rock Goddix. How you doing? Uh, I'm going to say she's telling me the truth. Your husband was using June Ballard Damn. in his new movie. <laughs> Hardly. I had no reason. I don't know June how Ballard I'm supposed to know. Range and is over the hill. Oh, man. Man. All right, we we got we got room to to make up for this though. Whereabouts a bishop? Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Dude, this is so hard. Uh, what's up, Steve? How you doing? Welcome back. I I, I believe her? Either we find him or McAfee's <laughs> people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. Oh, it's been it's been good. I don't Finally really got a new computer, which has trouble. been fantastic. Hopgood might know. Um, okay, check for $20,000. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. I found a check for twenty thousand dollars. You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, Detective? See, here's the problem. I have a check for twenty thousand dollars, right? But the uh, but I'm trying to prove that she knows what the check is for. So like. I could go with this, right? But this doesn't prove that she knows anything about it. And that, and that therein lies the problem. Is that sometimes this will be labeled as a lie. But, like, this doesn't actually prove she knows anything about it. I could go doubt. And, because I think she knows something about it. But even if I choose doubt, this could be a lie and then you get it wrong. Whereas I, I feel like if it is a lie and you choose doubt, you should get like a 50% kind of answer. That's how they could tweak this game to make it better. Like if they make a future LA Noir, if if you Can go, if, if you go doubt and it's an actual lie, you should get a somewhat answer. Um, obviously if you get truth, you should get zero correct answer. And then if you obviously choose the correct lie, then, you know, you get the full answer. I, I, I feel like that's, that would be a good way to tweak the game fairly. Cause like if you come as a cop and you're, you're like investigating and you don't present evidence, even though you have evidence, but you're like, Hmm, I think you're lying. And then you start like listing off reasons and shit like that. Then she, she'd be like, Oh shit, he might be on to me. I'm going to start giving my opinion or, or I'm going to start giving what I know or, or somewhat of what I know because I feel like he's on to me and he's just baiting me. Right. So that's, that's where I, I draw a little bit of a problem with this game in that it could definitely go either way. Looks like I made a mistake. I'm going to go doubt, but honestly, I, I really don't know. Your husband looks like he's being... Damn, I was there. right. I don't yeah, know how. If something on him, if he's prepared to kill to cover it up, why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Yeah, I got it right. Abuse of Jessica Hamilton. I doubt she knows anything about that. But anyways, here we go. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. I think she's telling the truth of this. I have no reason to believe she's lying. I'm going to say lie. You know exactly what happened yesterday, don't you, Mrs. Bishop? Oh. You've been through it yourself. I'm going to call my lawyer. You have a damn cheek accusing me okay. of that. Okay, I, I think she's telling the truth. I, I do. I, I think she's telling the truth. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. The girl okay, is never mind. Jessica Hamilton. I'm wrong. She was Again. Drunk. You should tell me what you know, <laughs> Mrs. Bishop. My husband is no saint, detective. He's going to have to atone for his own sins. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. Oh, really? There's That's always interesting. a deal to be done. Yeah, that, I, I have some problem, some real problems with the game. Um, but for the most part, I do enjoy it. Now, where's the phone at? Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thank you. Now, uh, thankfully, you don't have to get 100% right in order to solve the crime. And you don't even have to get 100% right in order to get, like, you know, good results, right? Um, you know, but An aging nevertheless, star, I, I think they could have been a little bit more lenient on this game in particular. The almost rich and, famous. and from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Otherwise, very much enjoying it. It's just sometimes I just feel like they should do a little bit better of a job to give you an idea of what option to choose. 
sometimes ease and you know direction are actually a good thing in video games. How much trouble her husband is in? The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Yeah, you think she'd have gotten a hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal, or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average kitty broad with nothing between the ears. Well, she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the cat. How about that keyboard driving right there? Right turn. Oop. You could have killed him. Sorry? But I didn't, and that's what matters. Straight over. Go straight through here. Go straight through. There's a hot. Uh, there, there literally is a hot dog stand straight at over. every corner. Right up ahead. You're taking the next left. Straight ahead here. For those of you that don't live in America, that's not how America is. We don't we don't have hot dog stands at every corner. We really don't. And I don't think they had that in the 1940s either. <laughs> All right, the silver screen prop store, street props, furniture, military props. Okay, we got a You miss LA street dogs? I don't think I've ever had one. Uh, Hollywood area actually kind of does. Really? Oh my god. I cannot bear to look at, at this place. Oh god. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We are investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Oh Christ! Uh, I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Maybe we'll come back at night. Anyways. <laughs> so, you coming? Hey, look at this place. Uh, I want to check this out. I want to check all of this out. I feel like this guy's going to try to lead us somewhere. So, you coming? And we we could have found like a really good evidence somewhere else. Got a lot of bears, a lot of similar statues. Are you gonna try to murder us? I feel like you're gonna try to murder us. Okay, I think we gotta go where he's going. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. All right, let's let's do a little investigation. Ooh, shrunken heads. I think we know where they got the shrunken heads from. Oh yeah, he's he's a great partner so far. But we know where he got the shrunken head. That doesn't mean that this guy is culpable. Like, other dude could have grabbed a shrunken head from his place, but. Any of these shrunken heads gonna give me anything? I guess not. Pills. Here we go. There's the drugs, I bet. Oh, that's the drugs that uh, homegirl th that he gave the 15-year-old. Doping a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Why does he have that? Yeah, it's definitely circumstantial. But him having the pills might be uh, another story here. Another shrunken head. Then again, you couldn't, it, there's no way you could prove somebody like knew about any of that. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. Was he filming? Oh, there's a room on the other side. Was he filming that guy raping that 15 year old? Oh, this is getting dark, man. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. Can't be that way, Phelps. You couldn't fit a rat through there. I can tell. This is nasty. 
Okay, it's not in the bathroom. Wait, it should be on this other side, huh? Maybe there's another room? Oh, that's just a painting. Ha ha ha. I'm a genius. I mean, we didn't need to kick it, but. Oh, and somebody was drinking beer. We could do DNA analysis if this was 40 years later. Okay, let's go. Jungle Drums by Mark Bishop. Jungle Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. Interesting. Got a sword. I think we're getting, getting somewhere. Mark Bishop, Jessica Hamilton. That's uh, the 15 year old girl. Oh my God, I do not want to watch this movie. I 1,000%, oh my god, I do not want to watch this movie. So what happened to the film oh, of Hamilton thank screen god. test? The film of Hamilton screen test? Well, um, it's on Disney Plus now. Alexander Hamilton. Uh... Excuse me, are you, are you Aaron Burr, sir? That depends. Who's asking? Oh, sure. Sir, I'm Alexander Hamilton. I'm at your service, sir. I have been looking for you. I'm getting nervous. Uh, oh my god, look. That's all this pictures of young women. I feel like I'm in an episode of SVU right now. Where's Olivia Benson when you need her? Uh, I don't know what I gotta do here. Okay, I think I gotta. I, I think I actually do have to find the movie somewhere. Uh, oh! They were filming girls taking shits. Well, at least they provided toilet paper. I mean, that's that's kind of them, I guess. Okay, is, what am I missing out here? I feel like I'm actually missing something. Hey, we, uh, we're... <laughs> young girls getting raped in film taking shits. <laughs> I, I don't... Oh, wait a minute. There's more films. I don't... I, I feel like there is an actual movie that I'm supposed to, like, put on this little canister, but maybe not. Maybe they, maybe they don't have me look at that stuff. But I feel like, was it at least a good poo? I, I hope so. I really hope so. I hope they made it worth it. That box was, uh, possessed. <laughs> Listen, I, uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. The Mafia? Like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cullen. You want to be a doctor and a dope peddler? Interesting combination. Huh? I definitely missed some newspapers because <laughs> I did not get this whole story. We might have. Yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh yeah, he's a putz, and he's lazy, and he's greedy, but he's my wife's brother. <laughs> and how can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Yes. <laughs> so how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? 
well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and... Surrettes. Yeah, surrettes. Great. We can put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen, we want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Don't do it. Hey, hey, you don't like my offer? They're gonna kill him. They're gonna kill him. You don't cross the mafia. The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. Called it. Man, we 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 really missed some of these papers. My goodness. Dude, I I feel like I'm missing something. But maybe I'm not. Maybe 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 I got all of that. Now we need to ask him about his peeping Tom ways. I bet you he'll spill the beans now. Uh, association with Bishop. You ever do any work with hey, and Lady Con, thank you for that host. Do work for the studios. RKO, Guys, definitely go check out Lady Con. Long time so, yeah. friend of the stream. When Bishop was really good streamer. Studio. Yes. When did you last see him? Now I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. Bullshit. I I don't know how how I could prove that. Do I have anything that could like actually prove any of that? Suspect Mark Bishop last reported to be on set. I think we could call him on that. Film canister marked Mark Bishop. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to say he's lying. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? I'm going to go with the film. The fil empty film canister. Producer Mark Bishop. So we could probably go with either. I have a drugged up 15 year old girl and you have chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. All right, we got that right. Whereabouts of Bishop? McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. You have something on him, and now you're going to rat him out to McAfee's goons. And how do you figure that, brain boy? I don't think I have anything that proves that. Bishop's where, but where did I get this? That's reported to be on set. Film reel. Throw the poop camera at him. Uh, hang on. Uh, let's see. Bishop was okay. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? He really tried to kill McAfee's wife. My advice to him would be to leave town. See, he could really be telling the truth here, and that. Sorry, my mistake. And that therein lies my issue is that this could be doubt. This could, this could be anything right now. He is smirking. I'm gonna go doubt. I'm warning you, Hopgood. I fucked up. Give him up to McAfee, and we find out about it. Wind it back a notch, tough guy. I'm telling you, I don't know where he is. That's okay though. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean. Okay, I don't nice. believe that. I don't think they're blackmailing him. Although there is a check for 20000 Anyways. Um... 
Mark Bishop paying to suppress personal scandal. Who is this to? Oh, that was to Lorna Hop. Okay. Signed by Mark Bishop. God, this is this game is hard, man. This game is really freaking hard. Um. Uh, look, buddy, I never meet the talent. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean on this. Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something. T I don't know what to go with though on this. Um. I'm about done with you and your accusations. I hope That's we. For now, hop good. We're taking <laughs> I hope we can figure out this case because this is getting really hard. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant. Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlin? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. you is this the bad the ending? Producer before an angry <laughs> husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Come on, like Cody Rhodes. Why you gotta why you gotta be like that? Detectives. Johnny what Goldberg. the hell is going on right now? C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen, to stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. There you go. Alright, I, I clearly need to... Oh my god. Alright, you want to fight? How'd y'all like that uh, that tire shot? I was like, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna shoot out his damn tire so he can't leave me. <laughs> Jungle drum set. I I really hope that I didn't screw up this whole case though. Come on, come on, Burkowski. Oh, I think I screwed up the game though. Oh, there he goes. So. I really hope that not. Um, not getting all those questions right doesn't screw up this case because we we've got to take down this pedophile the only ones who want bishop alive i have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch i'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. that's our job unfortunately they don't get to dole out the justice some cars definitely just disappeared there Ooh. I, I, if you guys got any tip, uh, any tips on this game as far as like really being able to figure out stuff, feel free to chime in. Cause like I, I really am failing at at, at all of this. 
<laughs> it's it's miserable right now. All right. Yeah, I'm out of intuition. That's the this only problem. Bastard now. I was doing good no. when I had intuition. God damn it! <laughs> it Phelps. I'll cover the exit. All right, I'm going after him. Mark Bishop, stop! LAPD. Come on, Mark Bishop. We know you're a pedophile. You are the Bill Cosby of the 1940s. Well, I don't know if Bill. I, I don't know if Bill Cosby went underage, but but nevertheless, nevertheless, the point still stands. Get back here! I don't like running up steps, and once I finally catch up to you, you're gonna regret running up steps. Just to watch their facial expressions with someone, yeah. I try, but some of these people just have like the most subtle stuff to try to pay attention to. Get back here, Mark Bishop. You're under arrest for the rape and attempted murder of a 15 year old. The Dan Schneider of the 40s. Come on. I can do this all day, man. Get back here. Come on, Mark Bishop. You got nowhere to go, Bishop. For the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. Oh my God! Please let me shoot him. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. Oh, he's gonna die. He's gonna definitely die. It's All worthwhile right, looking at their face when you've accused them of lying and checking McAvee's your evidence. Uh, because oh, okay. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Oh, do you? Man, it sucks that I have to keep this guy alive. Christ, detective, they're trying to kill me. Last chance to back the hell down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's this way. Where? No, don't. Phelps, get off the ladder. Kill them for God's sake! I don't want to die. McAfee doesn't make the rules. Hear me? There's no way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. I mean, I feel like I'm doing a good job just murdering all these people, but okay. Come on, it's this way. Oh. This is the best McAfee's got. Hit him. Heal up, heal up. Do I have any pocket hamburgers? Dude, I can't shoot these guys from here. Okay, I gotta get a closer, closer vantage point. Oh no. For the love of God, how many are there? <laughs> That's sniping with a pistol, right? The other hard thing at times is sometimes the order of locations visited will oh, I got you. Got you there. I'll kill every last one of you if I have to. This is all bad. 
All right, we're getting out of here alive. Come on, Mark Bishop. And then I'm bringing you to jail. I don't think I have enough evidence to really put him away, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, no. Okay, well, we're going to have to do that again. I He shouldn't have popped his head up. That's his fault. His fault for dying. Get him over here. I'll cover you. Come on. The cavalry's here. All right, that's good. They, they at least start us right here, though. this other guy at oh there you go <laughs> well that's that screwed damn follow me we need to get him to the car Come on, Bishop. Oh my God, they're everywhere. No, they're not. I killed them all. Get into the car. I can cover you from here. You're almost there. Oh my God, I almost shot at the cops. How long do you think you can hold out? Got him. Glad the guns are more accurate in this. Oh, yeah, now, for sure. This is what I call a result. Shoot the cops. <laughs> Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy. See, instead of sticking even with though I royally that failed the mission, I won. To thank, <laughs> thank you. You developed such a reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. Oh, am I promoted. getting a promotion? Yes! Go on, get your new assignment. I'm being promoted. I'm working with you, son. Oh, I hope I'm still with Burkowski. Come on, I couldn't have done it without Burkowski. Oh, Burkowski's not getting promoted. But he was my partner. We, we both did this together. Oh, th this is bittersweet. This is so bittersweet. I hope I'm not that dick's partner. Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you to Freaking Johnny Knoxville Sorry, over God. here. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. I think he's a dirty cop. Get in. I I got I'm a bad buying. feeling about this guy. 